Okay, so in this tutorial, uh, we're going to discuss how to put together your uh, door and window schedules for our uh, ranger station project. All right, so um, what we're going to do, let's take a look at our handout real quick. All right, so here's our handout. Um, and basically what we're saying in the handout here is these are the required fields that we're going to add into the door and window schedules. And um, so we'll just kind of look at that. Let me move this over to my other screen so I can kind of look at them look at them both. Okay, so to uh, start a schedule, to find the schedules, basically you're going to go to the View tab, and then you're going to go over here and look for Schedules. So it'll say Schedules, get a drop-down menu, and what we're looking for is Schedules and Quantities. All right, so I'm going to select that, Schedule and Quantities. All right, so uh, here you've got a list of categories, so these are all the categories in the, uh, in the project, and um, basically these are all the categories uh, that you can make a schedule out of. So you can create a site schedule, a roof schedule, planting schedule. Um, so let's start with window schedule. So we're going to do that. So I'll select window. All right. And then that's all you got to do. Just make sure it says schedule building components. All right. And then say OK. All right. So then over here, you have all of the available fields that you can put in there. And most of these are parameters that exist in that uh, window family. All right, so these are all fields over here, and then if you want to add them to your schedule, you can hit the little Add button. So I'm looking at my list here, and our first one is Mark. So let's find Mark in here. All right, so this is basically the identifier for the window. And then Level is next, so let's find Level. So I select Level, and then hit the Add button. That adds it to my schedule. Uh, family and Type. All right, there. And again, these are typically probably parameters that you created in that or that were already existing in that uh, family. So height, width. All right, then you come to frame material, and you're going to scroll up here and don't see it. So uh, frame material does not exist in here. So what we want to do is we want to actually create it, create that uh, parameter to add into our schedule. So down here it'll say Add Parameter. All right, so I'm going to select that. All right, and let's call this one Frame Material. So Frame Okay, now the other thing, the, the, before you do anything else on there, you want to make sure that um, down here under Type of Parameter you get it the right type. So uh, we want text for this one. If I would have left it at length, that it would have only accepted feet and inches for uh, that frame material, which really doesn't work for us. Um, uh, so I just put in straight text so that all you do is just type in what material it is. Um, you could pick material because material is in there, but uh, that would have been a material that you would have had to have picked from your material browser. And so I just want the flexibility of just adding that material in, just typing it in with text. So make sure that that's text, and then say OK. All right, so then we have frame material, and then the last one is comments. All right, so comments. Doo, 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 doo. There it is. All right, and I'm going to add that. All right, at this point, I've got all my uh, fields loaded into there, and then I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to generate a schedule for me. So here's my schedule. All right, so I've got my marks over here. I've got my levels over here, and then it's family. So it fills all that information in there. And then frame material, um, basically going back to that handout. All right, frame material. So that talks this last paragraph here. Additional information in those scheduled fields. The frame material for doors is aluminum, and the frame material, um, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the frame material for all doors is aluminum, and the frame type is hollow metal. The frame material for windows is aluminum, all right, so that's going to be aluminum for all of those. So all you'll do is you'll just select, uh, you'll click in there, and then type in aluminum. All right, then aluminum. All right, then the good thing is you don't have to type it over and over again. Now that it's in one of them, you can use it as a select. You can select it with just hitting that down arrow. So I just hit the down arrow and pick aluminum. And I'm able to fill it in real quick. All right, so that's the, those are my windows. Now you'll notice my marks over here are a little off because I haven't finished, you know, editing all of my marks over here. All right, so let me do the door uh, schedule real quick. So let me close that. So is that a problem? Is it just yeah, it'll automatically update. So for example, yeah, if I were to go back into that uh, window schedule, 
and I were to change this one to A1, then it'll, um, well, it's, it, 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 won't, it won't really matter. I'll just call this one then uh, B2, so on and so forth. So it's not really going to matter um, at this point. So let me just close that. All right, so let's do the door real quick. So I'll go to View, Schedules, Schedule Quantities, and then I'm looking for Door. All right, there's doors. And then hit OK. All right, so my categories for my doors are, um, are Mark, Level, Family and Type. Oops, I didn't put level in there. Level didn't make it in. Yeah, they should. Yeah, so you definitely want them in order because this is the order in which they're going to lay out on the um, in the in the uh, actual schedule. All right, and then height. All right, width and frame material. Frame type. You should, it should be in there. Oh, it's not on your handout? For doors? That's all right. All right, and then comments is the last one. So once you get them loaded in, then you say OK. And then it generates that schedule. So here's my doors. All right, and then for frame type, then I can type in hollow metal. All right, and so on and so forth. So I could kind of carry that down. Okay, so then kind of one last thing to kind of finish up our uh, door schedule is that we want to put these in some some sort of an order. You can see here it just kind of throws them in kind of randomly. Um, so what I want to do is actually organize these, and I don't have all of my door marks fixed yet. But um, before, but uh, to finish this, what I want to do is go to sorting and grouping. So now I'm now I'm in this this area here. So I go to sorting and grouping over on the properties dialog box, and click edit. All right, then I can say sort by mark. So if I say sort by mark, then what that does is then it'll organize everything it'll in uh, in numerical order. So if I say sort by mark and I say OK, then I can um, then I can get those to come out here. So what it does is it puts it all in alphabetical order. Now when I change these, so when I start editing these, so let's say this is um, let's say this one here is door 205. Oh no! Let's say let's say this one is 306. We'll say that that's door 306. Then when I hit enter, then what it does is it then it puts it all the way back back down here. So you can still relabel all those doors and it'll sort it out automatically. So um, all right. Then you can relabel them on the plan. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. So when you start relabeling them on the plan, then it updates your schedule automatically. So um, so it doesn't matter when you create your schedules. Uh, you can it'll it'll update the schedule as you're working on the plan. Uh, another thing in here, just one last kind of final thing, is the filter. So over here you've got uh, the filter setting here. You can filter things out or filter things in. Um, let me go to our entry level here, and let's say our um, we've got a elevator door. All right, and I don't have my elevator door loaded, so let me just go to architecture door, load it real quick. All right, so it's on the shared drive. All right, so there's my elevator door. Okay. And now let's call this, that's going to be door 307. All right, so now when I go to my um, my schedule again, there's 307. That's my elevator door. Now, I don't want to put this in my schedule. I want to filter the elevator door out of the schedule. So what I can do is um, I can change that to X. So I'll just call that one X or something else. You know, you can say X. And I go to filter. And then I'm going to say filter by mark um, and does not contain the letter X. And then I'm going to filter it out, and it filters that one out. 
So basically, it's a simple filter on there. If you type the, if you give it a mark number of like X, you know, something that's a letter, and then say mark does not contain X, then it'll drop that, that it'll filter that guy out of the schedule. Um, another way of doing that, let me just get rid of that filter. All right, there it goes. Here's 307. If I don't give it any mark at all, uh, that'll. It, so here it is up here. So it doesn't have any mark at all. So then I can say filter, um, filter by mark is greater than. Let's see, is greater than one. I'll say well, greater than zero. If you go there. That'll filter it out as well because it has no mark at all, so uh, it has no number in there. So that those are just a couple features that you could use to kind of filter um, certain doors out or cer certain things out of your schedule. So we went over filter and then sorting and grouping. All right, so now let's put it on a sheet. So I'm going to put this on a sheet. Um, let's find a sheet here. All right, it was one of those G11. So general, here we go, G101, general notes and schedules. All right, let me delete that off of there. Okay, so I'm going to take my schedule. I'm going to put it on a sheet. So I'm going to go door schedule. I'm going to drag it and drop it over. All right, so there's my door schedule. And notice it's a little bit tall. Um, but what I can do is to kind of spread this thing out a little bit, I can select the door schedule. And see these upside down triangles up here? These are little grips that you can pull across. And so I can make those those columns a little bit wider. And notice as I make them a little bit wider, then the, the actual schedule itself shrinks. So you can reformat your uh, schedules that way. All right, so I can put it on the sheet that way. So by just using these upside down triangles here, you can um, make those columns a little wider. When you make the columns a little wider, then it reformats it and then makes it a little shorter. All right, so um, the other thing too is that sometimes when you put this on the sheet, it looks a little bit small. So you can always, um, let me go back to, let's see, the view. Let me edit this schedule. And let me get my properties dialog back and appearance. All right, then you can also uh, edit the text on these, um, on the schedules. So for example, my body text here, that's basically all this information. Uh, the schedule default, I, I think the default, if I remember correctly, is like one, um, one quarter of an inch, or no, one eighth of an inch. So let's change it to a quarter of an inch, and I'm going to say OK. And so what that does, then it doesn't really change much there. But when I go back to that sheet, then it makes that schedule much bigger. So that's one way of editing the size of that te uh, of that schedule, is to go in here, and then edit the schedule. Go to the appearance tab and change the text size on that uh, on that schedule. All right, so that'll make the schedule a little bit larger. Right, so that's basically it for um, creating schedules. And stop that.